Hello, nice to see you. My name is Patrick Collins, and I am teaching this class called Inspired Writing. It may be more familiar to you if I call it creative writing, because that's pretty much what it is. The inspiration part is basically going to be the imaginations of your children who have chosen to take this class. Yes, it is an elective. It has a mixture of 7th and 8th grade students in it, and the emphasis is writing. Okay. I'm assuming that everyone who signed up for this class is here because they've had some positive experiences with their writing, or they know that they want to get a way to improve their writing. The way it's going to work is I am going to be pretty clear on the types of writings that we're going to be doing and also some of the mechanics and, and the concrete elements of writing styles. For, so for example, the first few weeks we're going to be looking at poetry and within that we're going to look at the different forms of poetry, we're going to be looking at different forms of language, things like assonance, so, um, alliteration, things like that. So I'm going to give the students some very direct instruction on how to do that and eventually when we've sort of come to sort of understand that writing just doesn't happen by just randomly throwing words on a page but there actually is some structure to be understood and also some some discipline to how you actually realize a project um, then the, the class will open up a bit more and be a more sort of uh, free, free flowing but I do want students to sort of have that sorry have that foundation of um, good solid structure of writing to help them be able to express themselves more clearly um, in class every day at the beginning of class there is a, a 15 to 10 to 15 minute writing prompt time free write so you know the juice is already flowing so I'm not trying to um, you know, keep that from happening, and but it's just to get the students in the practice of just having a daily, a daily writing assignment. Um, my background is I've been at Mercer Island for about 20 years. Uh, I have taught language arts, and I teach social studies and, and other classes, other electives. Um, this is the um, this is probably the most um, focused writing class I've taught, and because it's a creative writing class, um, I'm pretty excited about it because I, I on my own time. I like to write. In fact, I even had a book published before I became a teacher, so that was a novel. So that's I feel like I can bring in some of my personal experience of, of writing and also the editing process, which we know is a big part of, of writing and something that you sort of have to kind of feel comfortable with in order to get to where you need to be with your own writing. Um, another thing about this class that I want to emphasize is that even though it's a writing class, I would like to see the students re be reading as much as they can. Now, that said, um, it is an elective, and my goal isn't to send students home with big reading lists or to send them home with, with the tons of homework. Okay, So we're going to try to get everything done in class, because I know the other classes they have, the other academic classes they have, there is, you know, a, a, can be a heavy workload. So uh, we, hopefully most things will get done in class, but I also I know that students get very excited about what we can be doing, especially with creative things. So if, if you see them doing stuff at home, chances are it's because they want to and not because I'm saying, you know, you need to write a 10-page ten, ten story by Monday or something like that. So if you feel like you're seeing um, stuff at home that doesn't, feels like this class is, you know, becoming a burden to your, to your child, uh, let me know, and we'll talk about it. Because, you know, again, I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate writing itself. It should be a, it should be a joyous thing that, that they can do and that they should feel good about. And eventually, the goal of the class will be to for the students to find their voice. Okay, thanks for your time. Take care.